Hey, hello everybody, this is Diva Pompey Returns with um, a new video, or another video here for you guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my top 6 summons slash GF slash Aeons of the Final Fantasy series. Okay, so I start with number 6, the first on my list, and the first on my list is Diablos, or Diablos, from Final Fantasy VIII. Um, now, this is the top of my list, you know, I had to sort of pick just, just, uh, I, I couldn't think of... I mean, there's hundreds of summons in the Final Fantasy series, loads. But you know, I, I picked six because these ones I thought were unique in their own ways and or whatever. But Diablos is on the, uh, as my as my number six because when I first played Final Fantasy VIII and I got that item that 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 uh, you know the the uh, the lamp or whatever it was, I think it said something like "Do not rub." Or, or, or do not use or something like that or be warning or something and you put that to, to a kid playing violent they're gonna do it you're gonna do it and i did do it and i did it when i was ridiculously lower level and i got my ass whipped by this bloody cool demon devil dragon thing or whatever it was so yeah that was um it was pretty good so it looked unique uh, as far as this concerns you know it's pretty it was pretty good and it looks really cool and it's um his, his attack is pretty good as well i don't think as much of a of a GF as the other ones is, I think there are a lot more GFs in the game and a lot more powerful and useful. Um, but I think Diablos is kind of unique in its own way. Um, I mean, you can get when you learn the abilities you can get from Final Fantasy VIII. Each when you, when you get a GF, you can get Mug um, from it, which is a pretty good ability um, to have if you want to be stealing stuff. Um, so yeah, and that's 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 my number six on my list. Okay, number five on my list is. Um, is Bahamut, who is the who is a regular in the Final Fantasy series. Now, if anyone who's played Final Fantasy VII, you'll know that there's diff a few different sort of incarnate, um, different carnations uh, of um, of Bahamut. There's uh, Bahamut Zero, Neo Bahamut. I think there's a couple more, but um, this is the Bahamut from Final Fantasy VII to to, to to I mean, from Final Fantasy VII to to onwards. I mean, it's used even before Final Fantasy VII, right? Um, so yeah, he, he is like the series staple, um, always tends to be naturally strong and actually powerful, um, dragons are pretty cool looking. Um, my personal favourite of the, of the Bahamut is the final one for Final Fantasy X, as it's one of the few, one of the few Aeons of the series, of the game, of Final Fantasy X that can actually do more than uh, 9,999 damage of when you first get it with Mega Flare as a Billy. His main move can do um, over, um, you know, ten thousand plus. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, yeah, that's why I put him on my um, on my list. Number five is Bahamut for me. Okay, so my number six on my list is uh, from Final Fantasy VII, and it is uniquely powerful and amazing. It's Knights of the Realm. Now, um, if anyone has played Final Fantasy, this is this is the 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 summon of the game that you really want. It's the most powerful summon in Final Fantasy VII for a start. I I don't know how many times it's like thirteen or fourteen hits that it can possibly do. So, you know, do your math: thirteen, fourteen lots of nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. You know, that's a hell of a lot of damage. Um, so, yeah, that's just a, just just absolutely crazy damage. Um, it will kill mostly everything one hit in the game, um, other than like the weapons, perhaps. Um, but yeah, really good, really amazing um, one. It uh, is a tad on the annoying side to get because you've either got two routes to get the Knights of the Realm. And that's either defeat Emerald Weapon. Um, so if you're a badass player and you manage to defeat Emerald Weapon without the Knights of the Realm, then you get it, apparently. Uh, but I did it the other route and I got it through the gold Chocobo. Um, I actually bred a Chocobo and got it on. I used the Chocobo to go onto the, the island somewhere in the middle of nowhere and get it from there. Um, so that's how I got it. But either way, they're, they're both difficult. 
um, ways to get them because the, I mean the, the general the emerald weapon is the quick way I would say but it's difficult whereas the gold chocobo is just long to get the gold chocobo is long winded and there's a lot of effort Okay, so the number three on my list is Eden from Final Fantasy VIII. The strongest of the strongest Final, uh, Final Fantasy VIII summons. This one is wicked smart, wicked powerful. Um, even if you, you know give it boost and you're boosting like mad to get to 250, you could do like so much damage. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, I think um, the uniqueness, the, the main thing about Eden is... I think it's the longest ever summon in a Final Fantasy game. Don't count me on that. I know it's the longest in Final Fantasy VIII. But I've got a feeling it, 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 it pushes the... It's easily over, over a minute. Over maybe a minute and a half. Something like that. Close to that. But yeah, it goes on forever. But if you boost it enough and get it up to the top. And it's a really high level. Yeah, you're looking for crazy, crazy ass damage. And you're going to deliver with um, with Eden. So yeah, pretty great. Pretty great Um Something that's number three on my list. All right, so my number two is on my, on my list is going to be the Magus Sisters from Final Fantasy X. Now these ones just kick ass so good. Um, really, really, um, really excellent um, summon or uh, uh, Aeon. Even um, so, you get the way they are. There's three characters in one, so it's effectively three summons in one. Um, their main attack, Delta attack, is absolutely crazy. It's really strong as well. They can pretty. I think they can do. They can. I like Bahamut. They can break the uh, the damage limit from the beginning, from the start, as soon as you get them. Um, and I didn't know this actually until I did my research for this of for this uh, list. But actually, the Magic Sisters appeared earlier on in the, in the earlier games in the season. Um, they were referenced in um, uh, references Final Fantasy IV and they were in another one another Final Fantasy as a boss I think I'm not 100% sure on that but it's something like that I'd never known it before I thought the Magic Sisters were unique to Final Fantasy X but apparently um, you know, my history of Final Fantasy is not as good as I thought it was so yeah but that's that's um, that's something like there yeah the only negative I guess about the Magic Sisters you can't directly order them so you've got to sort of just go for the options, attack, do what you want, help each other, you know, that stuff. You can't actually do exactly what you want them to do, um, which is a bit annoying because um, I think only one of them has, like, healing magic or something. So if you get in trouble, you need to rely and hope that one of them does the healing spell or whatever because otherwise it, it, they're going to be out on it quite quickly. Um, and each one's got their individual attack. Personally, my favourite is Mindy. I think she's the little one, the little bee, the wasp thing. She does Pasado, and that's a pretty cool move. So that's what I like about Magic Sisters. They're number two on my list. Okay, my number one. Um, my number one summon Aeon Jeff from the Final Fantasy series for me is um, back to Final Fantasy X again. Um, yeah, I'd sort of like, like Final Fantasy X, you probably haven't guessed. Um, the Final Fantasy X is Yojimbo from Final Fantasy X. I mean, what can you say about Yojimbo? Why bother with having a break damage limit? Why bother with having all these crazy attacks? Why bother about being able to hit an enemy 13 times when all you need is one damn sword? And that is Zanmato. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people would say he's hit and miss. Personally, I think, I mean, I was absolutely amazed. I was able to do, I was able to do his animator on penance. Granted, I had a cheat on, which gave me like infinite money. But still, the fact that it worked, the fact that I could do a one-hit kill move on the most powerful monster in the game um, is just absolutely crazy. Um, so, yeah, I mean, because mostly it's sort of like a... What they, you know, like with Odin or whatever, they they just seem to take out um, enemies one hit. But this Yojimbo can literally take out any monster in the whole entire game one hit. Um, yeah, it's a pain in the ass because you've got to pay him money, and he doesn't always do it. Um, he's way too random, so you pay him quite a bit of money, um, and he'll do like um, a weak move. But you pay him a little bit, a small amount, and he'll actually do San Mato sometimes. So it's a bit, he's a bit sort of up and down like that. Uh, and the other thing, he hasn't got an overdrive. So when his overdrive bar falls, all it just means I think he's got a better chance of doing Zanmato. But he hasn't actually got an overdrive like what Bahamut has, Mega Flare, or um, Ifrit has with his uh, Inferno, or whatever it's called. 
Um, that's it. My number one on my list is Yo Jimbo from Final Fantasy X. So that's uh, my top six uh, Aeons, GFs, and Summons of the Final Fantasy series for you. Uh, thank you if you've been listening to this video. This is Debo Pompey Returns. Uh, thanks again and chill out, brothers. See you next time. Bye bye.